What makes regulator different? What's in these people? And no, it's not the smell of styrene and the chemicals that we use around here. It's the love of God. And so that's what I would want, that people would see it, that they would, would want to know about the love of God, that he's, he's here waiting. That's what I'd want them to know. I'm Joan Maxwell, and it's my privilege to be the president of Regulated Marine. Life for us is mostly regulator, but when we're outside of regulator, we're doing fun things like riding our bikes, uh, being active in our church. We're members of St. Paul's Church here in town, and it's great fun to feel a sense of family. We don't have any children, so our family is either here at 187 Peanut Drive or over at St. Paul's Church. Owen and I were married in 1985, and we were actually married right here in Edenton. We met in 1983. Uh, I'm one of four children, and I have lots of wonderful nieces and nephews and great nieces and nephews, and so it's my uh, pleasure to be able to take them on trips and do fun things with them. So uh, my, my desires for hobbies usually involve people. So I'm usually around people whenever I'm doing something. Very seldom am I in a solitary uh, role outside of work. Our faith was important to us when we started Regulator. But to really tell you about our faith and the impact on Regulator, I would say we were lukewarm. And I would say we were lukewarm about it until we really walked through the Great Recession. And I think when we face troubles, uh, we can do one or two things. We can run away screaming that something is unfair and it shouldn't have happened to us or we can figure out that the one who loves us more than life itself is going to take care of every need that we have. So we began a journey um, of really looking and being intentional about how we live out our faith in this place of, of understanding that nothing we have Nothing we do, uh, nothing in life is because of us. Everything is because of Him. And His gifts to us are gifts to be used and multiplied. So thinking about work has become for me personally a lot less about work and simply, hey, this is what I'm, I'm called to do right now. It may not be what I'm called to do next week. But it's what I'm called to do right now. And, it's, and I'm called to give everything I have. And when I start thinking about it and have started thinking about it very differently about what, what it is and who it is that I work for, uh, I have a lot more peace about it. You know, I, I like coming to work. I like seeing all the and cool things. I mean, we build a fabulous, fabulous boats here and we we I say we but I never touch a boat out here I don't do one thing building a boat we have a fabulous team of people here who are skilled so when I come to work I know I don't have to worry about that part of the business it's being taken care of by great managers great leaders on the floor a great VP of operations in Keith Stevens you know, my job isn't to get in there and meddle with anything. My job is to make a way for things to happen within the company, to provide the resources that are needed for the people to do their jobs. So when I come to work, I come to work knowing that they already have my back. So it's a, it's a great place for me to work. Uh, it's not just because I'm one of the owners. It's a great place for me to work because I can live out my faith in this place, and that's important to me. We have chapel. We have a chaplain. We have a corporate chaplain that comes every week, and he walks around, and he talks to people on the floor. People carry incredible burdens, and many of those burdens, they're never going to talk 
to a, a manager or a supervisor or even some of the folks that they work with side by side. But they may share that load uh, with somebody who they see as neutral. And so our corporate chaplain comes around and he's available. He's not pushing saying, do you know Jesus? If you don't, we got a problem, we're gonna have a talk. No, he comes around and he's, he lets people see the faces and then he's available. If they wanna to talk to him, they can do that. They wanna call him after hours. They want him to go visit someone who's in the hospital. He does that. In addition to that, he holds a, a quarterly chapel for us and we, we provide lunch and we figure if you feed them, they will come. So most people come in and eat uh, lunch and then uh, listen to a very short uh, chapel, maybe 10 minutes. Um, so we're very sensitive to timing and running production here, but also very uh, sensitive to the fact that the Holy Spirit needs a little time to work sometimes and we need to open, open the door to, to, to let him come right on in. And so the chapel is one of those ways that we do that. It is the best place in the world to work because of the incredible people who work in this house. I, always, I refer to Regulator as the house. Uh, if you need something, they're there to help you. I mean, that's what, it's a sense of family. I don't, I, it's very difficult to put in words what it feels like in, in here, in this house. And what we do is we get customers that come through and they say, we can feel something different here. And what they're feeling is they're feeling the love of God being lived out through the hands and feet of every person that works in this place. So a regulator is a place, number one, where it's God's house and we doesn't have a steeple on top. It's God's house. We come to work every day. And Regulator is a place where we build the absolute very best center console sport fishing boats. Period. The end. <music>